how Queen Elizabeth's Sunday lunches with Prince William molded him as a future king. Royal historian Robert Lacey writes exclusively in this week's People that Queen Elizabeth also modeled herself after her grandmother, Queen Mary. Following the divorce of his parents Prince Charles and Princess Diana, Queen Elizabeth started a new tradition, Sunday lunches with her grandson Prince William. The prince takes his style from his royal grandmother, who intervened as the marriage of William's parents dissolved in 1995, Robert Lacey, a veteran royal historian and author of the best-selling book Battle of the Brothers, writes in an exclusive cover story for People. The 13-year-old was in a fragile place alone and just starting boarding at the elite Eton College across the river from Windsor. Concerned for her grandson's emotional state, the Queen invited William up to join her when Eton boys went home for the weekend. Lacey adds that Queen Elizabeth also modeled herself after her grandmother, Queen Mary, rather than her too soft and cuddly mother. Lacey previously said that the lunches between the Queen and Prince William, who is second in line to the British throne, were Prince Philip's idea. Philip was crucial in helping coach William as a future king, he said. It was Philip's idea to set up the lunches between William and his grandmother. When the time came for the Queen to talk business with William, Philip would quietly excuse himself because he didn't feel that the constitutional side of the Queen's job was something he wanted to interfere in. Following the Queen's never complain, never explain strategy has earned Prince William favor with the public. Lacey cites a UK poll rating ranking Prince William to an 80% popularity rating, second only to the Queen at 85%. Following the death of Prince Philip, family scandals and growing cries to abolish the monarchy, Prince William's role within the royal family is more critical than ever. The British throne has survived beheading, exile and enough scandal to stock entire libraries. Now a new leader, William, not Charles is paving the way forward, writes Lacey. And the future king is doing so with a vivid example in mind, at this crucial inflection point, William, 39, continues to model his leadership on the style he learned from his grandmother. So with a vivid example in mind, at this crucial inflection point, William, 39, continues to model his leadership on the style he learned from his grandmother. <laughs>